Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Well, hey, Calvary, thanks for tuning in for your word for the day. My name is Robert. It is a joy to uh, be looking at our last passage in the book of James. We've been going through this great epistle written by the half-brother of Jesus, given to, to help us understand what it means to live out genuine faith and how we navigate life and, and what it looks like to be constantly pursuing Jesus as our Savior and living that out in a daily way. And so uh, if you have not caught all of these, uh, I'm not going to say go back and, and watch them, but I am going to say if you haven't been reading uh, the book of James, go back and read it. It's, it's five chapters. You can read it in one sitting. Uh, or spread it out and spend a week reading it, spend longer than that. It's an incredible book that guides us to the truth. Uh, But I want to read how James finishes. Uh, His kind of closing thoughts here, I think, are really uh, encouraging and also challenging for us. And he says this in verse 13 of chapter 5. He says, Is anyone among you suffering? Let him pray. Is anyone cheerful? Let him sing praise. Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will save the one who is sick and the Lord will raise him up. And if he's committed sins, he will be, con- he'll be forgiven. Therefore, confess your sins one to another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person has great power as it is working. And he gives an example. He says, Elijah was a man with a nature just like ours. And he prayed fervently that it might not rain. And for three years and six months, it did not rain on the earth. And then he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain, and the earth bore its fruit. See, as as James wraps up, he says, what should you be doing? And he says, you should be praying. He, He says, if you're suffering, if you're cheerful, if you're sick, any circumstance, he says, you should pray. And this is amazing because it's a reminder that the God of the universe, the God who created everything, wants to hear from each one of us. He wants to hear from you. He wants to hear your concerns, your your challenges, your fears, your ambitions, your desires, your, your excitement. He wants to hear all of it. So let me encourage you, go to pray. Go pray to him and and share those with him. And 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 so often we get questions, well, how should I pray? And A lot of times the question behind that is, what is it supposed to sound like? And I always say it should sound like you having a conversation with your best friend. And it should be you sharing updates and desires and hopes and dreams and frustrations in a conversational way because God wants a conversation with you. And so let me encourage you today, when you finish this video, take a few moments. Don't rush on to the next thing. Don't hurry off to work or finishing breakfast or whatever it is. I don't know where you're watching. Uh, If you're driving uh, and listening to this, please don't close your eyes and pray at the end of this. But whatever you're doing, spend some time in prayer because God is your heavenly father. And if you love and follow Jesus, then you have been reunited in relationship with him and he wants to hear from you. So today, spend some time in prayer not just when things are going bad, but when things are good, and share all of what's on your heart because he wants to hear from you. Have a great day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.